Hello, this experiment is about how static height or the elevation uh, of a pipe end, or in this case it's going to be a tube end, influences the flow through a centrifugal pump. I have here a small centrifugal pump. Uh, it's used uh, for aquarium supplies and uh, you can see it's a centrifugal pump because inside here we have the impeller with the small impeller vanes. So uh, this is exactly the centrifugal pump. Put it back together, tighten this up and put the cover on. And I'll just connect up this tube to the pump and drop it into a small tank here. So I have water in here, uh, colored blue, so it's a little easier to see. So I'm just going to drop this into the sink and we'll turn the pump on. So you can see that we are having some flow out of this uh, tube end and uh, the static head is about five, six inches. The fluid height is in, in the uh, tank is at this level and the pipe end is at this level. So this is the static head. As I change the static head, you see that the flow will start to get less and less until it reaches the point where it's just a trickle and there's no flow coming out. So, the low static head, I get high flow, and a high static head, low flow. So you need to plan for this in your systems, uh, because each system is different. To give you an idea of uh, how much flow we're getting out of this little tube here, I've got a shot glass. Uh, it's about two ounces, and we'll see how quick I can fill this glass up. So it takes about five, six seconds to fill up this glass. Static head is not the only factor that will affect flow rate through your pump. Friction also is a very important factor. Now, a moment ago we were using a very small tube, this tube here, which has a lot of friction because it's small and it tends to um, reduce the flow. If I use a, a larger tube, like this one, you should see the flow increase. So I'll just connect this up here. And start the pump. Now, as you can see, these tubes are quite different. This uh, smaller tube fits in to the big tube quite comfortably. It's at least, uh, the bigger tube is at least two, three times the inside pipe diameter of the smaller one. Also, friction is, is, uh, depends on the diameter, but also depends on the length. The length of these two tubes is about the same. So we can compare them from a diameter point of view only at this, uh, right, right now. So let's start the pump. Now, we're using, we have positioned the uh, pipe end so we have about the same static head as we did with the small tube. And you can see that there's quite a bit more flow coming out of this larger tube. To see how much bigger, let's use this shot glass again. And let's try and fill it up. And you can see it fills up in a matter of one or two seconds. So, a larger tube will uh, give you a much higher flow rate. Of course, a larger tube or a larger pipe will cost more money. Um, so you need to analyze whether uh, you need to put the money into a larger pipe size or a, uh, a bigger, more powerful pump and use a smaller pipe. So there's a little uh, economic uh, value uh, study to do there uh, and determine what the best, uh, best of these uh, combinations is for your application. So be careful when you design your systems. Static head and uh, friction or friction head are the two important factors that will influence the flow rate uh, through your system. Each system is going to be different, so your target uh, it will be to have the flow rate that you require, and those two uh, factors will influence that. You'll need to be uh, very careful in the selection of your pump and the effect that static head has on the pump as well as friction.